with my friend Vicki at her farm and she's got some beautiful rabbits she's going to be showing us. Um, this one is really cool. Look how fluffy. Oh my gosh. Can you tell us about this one? Yes, this is a French Angora and she is a doe, which is the word for a female in the land of rabbits. And her color is called fawn and she's about a year old. She was born on May 19th last year so we're almost to May so she's almost a year she's full grown rabbits are full grown when they are about six months old and she probably weighs about eight and a half pounds so really a large rabbit <laughs> she's a little jittery too maybe it's because it's windy a little bit we're outside and she's not used to me um, but Vicki I bet you love this rabbit and hold her all the time don't you? She gets held a lot. Scott and I uh, put them outside every day to play in these little puppy exercise pens and so I'm handling them every day because I have several rabbits so I put three or four out and I can't put them in the same pen together they each have their own outdoor pen. Mm. Is rabbits, uh, domestic rabbits usually do not get along with each other. Now, occasionally, if you raise up two together, you can get them to get along, but most of the time they have to have their own place to live. Boy, this is a very pretty doe. Okay, so I love the color, and can you see? She's kind of darker on her face and on her back, and then the under fur is more kind of a cream color. Look yeah. how pretty, <laughs> and she's so soft. If you could feel her, the, the fur is, well, the hair, rabbit hair, Fur? Yeah, I call it fluff, but the fluff hair is, is fine. so yeah. <laughs> neat. I wish you could feel that. It's just so soft and she's just beautiful. In a minute, maybe we'll put her down and let you see what she does down on the ground. But let's see those back paws. She's got huge, huge <laughs> back paws. Can you see that? Look at that. Oh my goodness. And they've got really long claws and stuff. Now, is she a mean rabbit? Like, would she hurt somebody? They rabbits don't usually intentionally try to hurt people but they can hurt people these i have been scratched by their claws and not because they were trying to scratch me it's just they don't typically like to be held so it's usually if they're scrambling to try to get away because they want to get back on the ground and they can scratch you when they're scrambling but she looks like this. such a beautiful beautiful fun bunny to own this one is about to fall asleep in my arms oh so. my goodness yeah you're holding her um, and she's got her eyes closed why are they hard to take care of is it because they're so fluffy <laughs> you have to groom a french angora rabbit a couple of times a week I use, and when you groom them, are you taking like a little brush and brushing their their hair and their paws? Yep, I it looks like brushes like you might use on a long-haired cat. Well, maybe we'll put uh, this little rabbit down <laughs> and we'll see what it does when it gets. It's just we'll about have, asleep right now. Yeah, we'll have to wake her up. <laughs> <laughs>